is up guys thanks so much for tuning into today's video um today i'm going to show you a workout i did with coach we started out with a body fat percentage um we did three folds at the tricep the midsection and my quad to do um figure out body fat percentage i was at 18 percent last week and we figured out i was 16.8 this week which is not good for five weeks out so later on i'll tell you like what our plan is for my show and everything like that um, and let me tell you this, this fold right at the quad, oh my gosh, hurt so bad. And we had to do it twice and the fold was at the same area and I wanted to cry. It was so bad. So we started out the workout with some lat pull downs. Um, we did pretty heavy weight. So we focus on getting it to the bridge of our nose. Um, we don't pull down to the chest. I get more control when I just pull it down to the bridge of our nose. Um, and then I get that full stretch at the top. And that was the second set. So it was a little bit more difficult because we were pushing so much weight. Um, and I'm like, I, I didn't say before we did back and a little bit of shoulders. Second thing we did was some dumbbell rows and I was focusing on getting it to the hip. Uh, making sure that I had control opening up my chest and really focusing on making sure that I was getting that full motion even when it got really really heavy which it definitely did we did 50 pounds which is not the heaviest that I've done but in prep when I'm in a caloric deficit that's pretty heavy um, and you can see that I'm switching over to the left side and it's getting more difficult uh, because it really targets like it pulls my lower back and my hernia which makes me really think about pulling it in my back but it just gets a little bit more difficult and it's another angle right there um, making sure that I really really open up and curve it right into my hip the next clip we are doing lat pullbacks and a little bit different a little bit of a different angle so I'm sitting laying my stomach against the bench and pulling back low making sure those elbows are in nice and tight and you can see my beautiful double chin um, I want to say that I was pulling about 45 to 50 pounds and it was getting pretty difficult <laughs> that was like the fourth set we ended it with some shoulders, just kind of get a little bit of the rest of our burnout. Um, we did some shoulder press, one armed, making sure that I tap the shoulder and press it all the way up, pulling kind of behind my ear. So I'm really, really activating my delt and not lacking any any in any area. Excuse me. Um, here, I was, that was the best angle I could get for the back of my left delt. Now, let me tell you, this is probably my favorite delt exercise, um, some lateral raises, and Coach always, when I get really, really heavy, he kind of helps me get up, and I just have to resist on the way down. Now, I was doing most of the work, but he was helping me get to the very top. Um, we don't fly up all the way like a lot of football players do. And these were the last two exercises. We did some front raises, focusing on the front of the delt, which is very, very important. Um, I never, I make sure that I always incorporate that in, in my shoulder exercises or shoulder workouts. Um, it's super important for that front physique. And then we ended it with um, rear flies bending over and really squeezing my back. I hope you guys enjoyed this workout video. Hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next all right, clip. So if y'all are not annoyed with me already about all the back and forth about the show, excuse my face. I just did my second round of cardio, so I'm blood a little bit. But oh well. Okay, so talk to Coach. Um, as y'all saw, I worked out with him. Talk to Coach, and we tested my body fat. It was 18% last week which is super high for being five weeks out um that's like way too high my body just wasn't cooperating um i texted him earlier this week and said like are we gonna test it like what, what do you want to do to try to figure out if we're gonna do the show and he said okay we're gonna test it this week um and see how much it's come down if it's come down at all um so like i said i was at 18 percent last week and I'm 16.8. Dropped 1.2 percent, which is good, but not good for five weeks out. It would be good for early on, yes. Like I would totally be ready if I, this was early on, but it's not. So uh, he said, "Okay, we're gonna push the day back." Got a little upset. 
not at him at all. Just that my body's not cooperating. So, <laughs> looked at several shows in South Carolina and North Carolina, and we picked two shows. I told him I worked way too hard to just do one. So, can we do two? And he goes, oh, of course. So, I've got one in September and one in October. So... Let me figure this out. So, I am now nine weeks out. Not five, nine. I'm not gonna get upset about it anymore because there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. Like, there's literally nothing. So I'm now nine weeks out. That will make it to where I am at 20 weeks into prep for my first show and then three additional weeks after that. So I will have been prepping for 23 weeks. That is... Almost six months. Almost six months of prep. I officially almost feel like Amber, my friend. She had prep nine months for her prep because her body just wasn't adjusting. Amber, I feel your pain. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna keep pushing, staying on track, not straying from anything. Uh, listening to coach, continue to do what everything he says, and praying my body will keep responding. Can only hope for the best. All right, thank y'all so much for watching. Um, if y'all could hit that like button right down there, that would be awesome. It just helps me be able to, um, if y'all could hit that like button down there if you like the video and if y'all could subscribe that would be awesome if you haven't already um and then follow me on instagram i'll link it down below um but i'll see y'all in the next video bye